Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're taking a look at all the new features and changes that you will get on your device with the new iOS 18.4 and we're starting with priority notifications. You can go now to your settings, head on to notifications right here and they will have prioritized notifications. You can enable or disable all of them right here. What you can also do is choose the apps that individually will send you priority notifications. So if you don't want all the apps to have those you can just go ahead and disable any of the apps now what you can also do is turn them off directly from the lock screen once you have received a priority notification you can actually go ahead and disable it right here the notification center also gets a much smoother animation with ios 18.4 the Playground app finally gets the new sketch style which you could actually use before on the Notes app but couldn't use it on the Playground. Now we finally have that enabled. Also Apple Intelligence it has been expanded to more languages like Chinese, French, Korean, German, Japanese and much more other languages that will of course support much more new countries. Genmoji on iOS 18.4 when you go to the keyboard you will have here a much bigger button which makes it much easier for you to actually have access to Genmoji. Then, then of course uh, the function there is the same we just get a bigger button and also we have new emojis just added to iOS 18.4 like the fingerprint that you can see right here and some other emojis have been added to iOS 18.4. Now with iOS 18.4, Apple has made an amazing change for iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max users. You can now go to the action button and you can actually enable here visual intelligence for your iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. Now what's really cool is that you can also enable this from the control center. If we go right here to add a button, we can now actually add visual intelligence there which allows us to actually invoke it from the control center or even the lock screen. You will also have a button to type to Siri and also another button to talk to Siri which both of them of course can be added to the control center or to the lock screen. Now Siri has gotten also a few updates here with iOS 18.4. First of all, we have a new animation for typing to Siri and then we have these suggestions right here. So basically when you go within an app, it will show you this pop up when you tap on it. Basically, it asks Siri what it can do and it will show you a few tips and tricks of things that it can do within that app. Now, what's really cool is this new thing as well. When you type something and you send the prompt to Siri, it will actually remove the keyboard from the screen and just show you this pop up, of course, with its response. Now, we have a ton of updates on the control center as well. Now, first of all, the best thing that has happened here is that now it actually rearranges as it should. It's much much smoother, much easier to actually rearrange the things and you can see when I just want to remove something or move it to another place, it just won't mess around with everything. I can just go ahead and move things and place them anywhere I want. And we have a few changes here. Of course, we have the new buttons for the ambient music which are really cool. So we have four new toggles here. We can add one of them. What we can do with these, if I tap right there, I can go ahead and switch the playlist. Now what I can do also is choose a playlist for my app live for my music library actually if I'm using Apple Music, which is really awesome. Another thing you will notice here is the, these like arrows right there at the focus modes which allows you to quickly change between focus modes. We have now bars for the for the seller data and also the Wi-Fi that will represent actually the true strength of your connection. So the bars that you see here will be the ones that are actually on your connection which are really cool. And these right here on the sliders, you can see if I turn up the volume, it will colorize the slider right there. That happens for the brightness as well as well as for the text size and another one here for the flashlight you can see when i turn on the flashlight this part right here is now much much bigger making it much easier for you to actually control your flashlight from the control center Moving on to the Photos app, we have a few changes here on the Photos as well. First of all, when I tap there, we have now new filters. We have filters for shared with you and not in an album, which of course will filter out all those photos and it's actually really cool. When you go to the albums, you will have now here a new like 
UI for the view list or key photo, which you can change right there. Again, another awesome touch by Apple there. And what's really cool with photos on iOS 18.4 is that now the hidden photos are not available for transfer if you have actually set up Face ID to protect your photos, which means that it won't be able to transfer them to a PC or Mac, which is of course great when it actually comes to things like privacy and of course protecting your photos. Now another thing here for the album is that now you can also sort them by modify date, which is actually really awesome. And you can also now rearrange your utilities and media types as well. And if you go to the photo section right here on the settings app, now you can finally disable the recently viewed and recently shared photo albums from the photos app. The app store has gotten some pretty cool updates as well. Now you can finally pause and resume downloads directly from the app store, not just downloads, you will be able to do that for your updates as well. Now what's really cool with the app store on iOS 18.4 is that now it will show summarized reviews for apps and games. Of course, if you have a device that does support Apple intelligence, you will now start to see summarized reviews, which is basically a summary out of all the reviews that app, that app or game has gotten on the app store. And we have some pretty cool additions to Safari as well. First of all, we have the search history. Now, if you have searched previously something on Safari, you will see it right here as a suggestion. And you can just go ahead and make that search again or clear it from here. Now, when going to the settings of Safari on iOS 18.4, you will be able to actually sh show or hide those recent searches. You will have this button right here where you can enable or disable them. Now, what's really cool is that when you go to website now, you will actually be able to tap right there and when you go to the more section here you will see the connection security details that will show you everything you need to know about the security of that website which is actually really awesome and when playing a video here on safari or the tv app or basically wherever you're using the like default video player of ios you will get this new animation when you skip forwards or backwards Moving on to the settings app and let's head on to the app section here. Now when we go to the default app, you will see we have now a new section for translate. You will be able to set up a default translation app. And if you're on EU, you will also be able to actually change the maps app, your default maps app, set it to Google maps or any other maps app that you use. For iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max users on the settings app, you will now have a new section for the camera control app. So you will have the camera app right here you will have a section now we will find all the apps under the mail settings you have now a new option here for delete or move when you go here you can choose what you want to do after you have deleted an email move to the next message or just go back to the inbox and now you can also reset your identifier for voice memos and you can find this option by going to your settings go to apps and just scroll down to voice memos you will find it right here at the bottom and with iOS 18.4, we also have new voices for Australian in Siri. So you will have a new male and a new female voice. And on the news app, when you go to the following section, you will have now a new section for food. The dynamic island now will show right there as you could see the dot for the camera or the microphone. Whenever an app is using it, it will show right here on the side of the dynamic island which is much, much better. Now also when you're connected to a Bluetooth connection, now the dynamic island does show right here an icon for Bluetooth and overall the animations of the dynamic island have actually been updated and now they're much, much smoother. On the passwords app, when you go to your codes, if you have code setups right here, you will see now that circle right there. It's green and it will fill green and then it will reset once it has resetted all the codes. On the phone app, if you have two lines, when you go to the dialer right here, you will now see these new arrows that allow you to switch between your different lines. And the iPhone 15 Pro wallpapers have returned. If you go to set up a new wallpaper, when you go under collections, you will see the four wallpapers from the iPhone 15 Pro. According to Apple with iOS 18.4, you're getting lossless and ultra low latency audio for the AirPods Max, which is really awesome. We also have an updated UI for the connection assistant. If you're using that, you will notice an updated UI and on the wallet app, if we tap the three dots right here, we have now a new menu for your orders. You will have here pre-authorized payments and the settings as well. 
Now one feature I'm really excited about that iOS 18.4 is bringing is smart reply for, for third party mail and messaging apps. If you have an Apple intelligence device, you know that you have those on iMessage and the email app. Now they're coming to third party apps as well. And also Matter Robot Vacuum support is here with iOS 18.4. We have a new Vision Pro app and the updated mail app is now available for the Mac and also the iPad as well. And there's also an update for the iPhone setup. When you're setting up your iPhone, you will see now a new UI, which lets you set up the age range for the user that you're setting up the iPhone for. And if you use CarPlay, if you have a bigger display, you'll now see three rows of icons and you can also change the default Maps app if you live in EU, of course, on the CarPlay. So these are all the new features and changes you will see on your device with iOS 18.4. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like if you did. And of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.